Florida's governor has signed a new law to try and tackle an insurance crisis in Florida with soaring claims costs, skyrocketing lawsuits, and fraud that is going through the roof. Contessa Brewer joins us right now. Is it enough to give business and homeowners a break at this point, Contessa? Not in 2023, Becky. It, look, everybody is likely going to see their insurance rates rise across the United States. III estimates nationally the premium growth is 9 percent, but in Florida, 33 percent. And homeowners there already pay nearly three times the national average. Insurers simply have not been able to charge enough, even with that kind of rate hike, to make a tidy profit. Even before Hurricane Ian, more than a dozen insurers have folded or fled the state altogether. Six this year alone, and two dozen more are on a financial watch list. It's a problem. State lawmakers got together in December. They banned one-way attorney fees, where insurers shouldered all the legal costs. That was a jackpot for plaintiff's attorneys, and a big reason that the state accounted for almost 80 percent of property insurance lawsuits in the nation, but only about 8 percent of claims. The new law also prohibits the assignment of benefits, which allowed a homeowner to sign over their claim rights to, say, a contractor. And the industry says that fueled fraudulent claims and even more lawsuits, even when the homeowners hadn't consented to sue. And because options for coverage have been so expensive and so limited, Floridians sometimes find their only option is insurance through citizens. That's the state-backed insurer of last resort. This new law requires homeowners to get private flood insurance if it's no more than 20 percent more expensive than citizens. And the law creates a billion-dollar reinsurance fund. To put that into perspective, insured losses from Hurricane Ian alone this year estimated at as much as $65 billion. Becky. Yeah, Contessa, I mean, I've, I've talked to insurers over the years who, who basically said, in Florida, they don't allow you to charge enough money to be able to write insurance with a profit. You're basically there hoping that a storm doesn't hit. If it does, you're going to lose your shirt and all the business you've written is not going to be profitable. I mean, that's, that's been a big part of the problem when you have so much development yeah. um, right on the water like that. Um, people building in places where you know it's not going to be safe, the state not allowing insurance companies to charge the proper amount for what would be the risk-reward return. Um, do we actually think insurance premiums will come down under this, or is this just a new reality that if you're going to live on the waterfront and build a hugely expensive home, you need to be prepared for some hugely expensive insurance? I mean, that's a great point about uh, how coastal development keeps happening. However, that's not the whole story, because people who live away from water are paying these outrageous premiums uh, or not able to get insurance. So part of it is that the overall cost was driven up by this crazy litig um, litigation. It is such a litigious environment there. And the fraud and, of course, inflation for materials and labor when you're right. re recovering from a storm like Ian. But this law is not retroactive. So all of those Hurricane Ian lawsuits, they'll still move ahead. And that could take wow. five years. You've got, as I mentioned, the inflation. That's a hurdle. And then these reinsurance renewals are up in January. So reinsurance, insurance for insurers. I, I hope I've laid out a picture of why insurers find it so difficult to operate in Florida. And the insurers can't get at reasonable prices Reinsurance, that's a huge hurdle. Yeah. Uh, the reinsurers just simply don't want to take the risk in Florida. So you've got this uh, really complicated problem. It is not going to be fixed in 2023. But this is a start. In fact, the Insurance Information Institute says it is the best reform they've ever seen in terms of insurance out of Florida.